Happy iOS 11 day. Yes, I'm dead serious about that. If you're watching this on the day I released this video, today is the day if you have an iOS device, 5S or later, you can upgrade to Apple's latest software, iOS 11. Let me give you some quick three features that I love. First of all, the new and improved human voice-like Siri, very good. I also love the new control center. I love how you can use that 3D touch on to expand the toggles. I love how it has a new screen recording option, very nice. And lastly, I love the new wallpapers in iOS 11. Absolutely stunning. But that's not what I'm talking about today. I'm talking about is the iPhone 8, not the X, is the iPhone 8 worth the money? Is the iPhone 8 worth the $700 that it costs. And I'm gonna flat out say it right now. The iPhone 8 isn't worth your money. In case you didn't know, Apple just announced three brand new phones. The iPhone X, I'm sure all of you have heard it, and the iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus. All the hype is around the iPhone X because of that edge-to-edge -edge display. But let's not forget, that's $1,000. Not everyone can afford it and even wants to buy it. So Apple's affordable option, and I'm saying affordable because it's not really affordable at $700, that option is the iPhone 8. And I've gotten many questions on what is new about the iPhone 8. Isn't it just the exact same thing as the 7? Well, technically, yes, it is. This upgrade is practically going from like the iPhone 6 to 6S. Nothing really new. The 6S to the 7 was a big upgrade though. Just like going from the 5 to 5S. This is going from the 7 to 7S. I have no idea why Apple didn't call it the 7S, it deserves that name. But let me tell you the new features that the iPhone 8 has, because really it's a blurry line right now. The iPhone 8 is the exact same form factors as the iPhone 7. You've got your 4.7 inch display and you got your 5.5 inch display. But really, tell me what's the difference? First of all, the iPhone 8 has a glass back. Apple supposedly says this is the strongest glass on any phone in the world, ever. I kind of doubt that claim, but that's what Apple says. But the glass on the back on the iPhone 8 allows for wireless charging. So guess what? The iPhone 8 has the Qi wireless standard, which means you can buy any wireless charging pad for $20 and you don't even have to buy Apple's 120 air power wireless charger. You could settle for that cheap budget wireless charger. So you can still enjoy that wireless charging experience. I believe wireless charging is great because it saves you a few seconds. I know we're in 2017 now. A few seconds is a big deal. It saves you a few seconds and rather than just than plugging in your phone, you just have to lay it on a pad. If you just want the phone to charge, you just run to your room, place it on the mat, and you can leave. That's it. Also, by the way, wireless charging allows for the fast charging experience. So if you can't afford the $50 MacBook Pro USB-C adapter to fast charge your phone through the cord, you could use wireless charging to fast charge your phone. In case you didn't know that. Also, the iPhone 8 comes with the A11 Bionic chip. This processor is the fastest processor on any smartphone right now. The Snapdragon 835 can't beat it. No other processor is even close to matching the speed of the A11 Bionic chip. You might think, that doesn't really matter now, all phones are fast. That's true. The Snapdragon 835 is perfectly fine for day-to-day -day tasks right now. Well, what I'm talking about is in the future, those processors start to slow down. But with the A11, the phone's gonna last a longer time if you care about that. The A11 Bionic chip has a longer longevity rate than the Snapdragon 8 835 or any other processor. Also, the iPhone 8 has a true tone display. This is a looked over feature on the iPhone 8. A true tone display adjusts to your surroundings. It doesn't just adjust the brightness on the screen, it also adjusts the color temperatures. So let's say your screen is a little bit blue tinted, it's going to adjust it so that it's more normal adapting to your environment. This is a very minor feature, but still great to have. And no other smartphone has this other than the iPhone X. I'm kind of disappointed that Apple kept the exact same cameras on the iPhone 7 Plus and just moved it to the iPhone 8 Plus. But there is one software difference in the iPhone 8 and that's portrait lighting. You know the portrait mode that we all know and love if you have ever tried it? Well, portrait lighting allows in that portrait mode 
to adjust the lighting. So let's say you want studio lighting, the subject or the person's face is gonna be bright enough so that it looks like studio lights lit up the person's face. This feature is really cool and I can't wait to get my hands on it on the iPhone X because that phone has it too. And one last thing, the iPhone 8 only comes in three colors, space gray, silver, and blush gold. With the iPhone 7, you had six options, but with the iPhone 8, you only have three. But you do get that nice new color option called gold by Apple, but in the rumors, everyone called it blush gold. It's kind of a nice mix between the iPhone 7 gold and the iPhone 7 rose gold. Just mix those two colors together and you get this beautiful new blush gold color. I kind of like it. And that's it for features. Honestly, the iPhone 8 isn't worth your money. It's either you buy the iPhone X or just buy the iPhone 7 Plus. There really is no in between.